Hey everybody, my name is Grant Dorsey. Welcome to Aurora Graphics. And today I thought I'd show you how, um, if you come up a little bit short with a piece of our camo, or uh, you know, you get a wrinkle going around a compound curve, like around this bumper or something like that, and, and you can't get the wrinkle to stop, you've got to cut it back where it's nice and easy, or uh, lay, not laying nice and flat, and then come back around and splice in. And uh, so, somewhere in the video, either you just saw it or you're getting ready to see. Um, I just cut this funky shape in here and I kind of tried to follow a little bit of the branches and whatnot. And you notice I've got a, a piece of trunk in the, in the image here. And so I tried to pick the next piece of vinyl with a piece of trunk next to it. So when we come in here and, and lay over the top, you can kind of follow the, the rest of the design and, and make it look nice and solid and even. Now this, you could move it over like this and it actually wouldn't look too bad either as long as you try to cover that branch and, and get it to, to lay right. But, but honestly, if you can pick a section, you know, if you happen to end in the brown, then try to find a section with a, quite a bit of brown in it to cut to splice in. But uh, so because we're splicing in here on the trunk, I'm gonna go ahead and put the trunk over it. And uh, when I like its positioning, if it looks like this vinyl's falling off the backing paper. It's because uh, we just tried to shoot this video and I had to peel it back off and stick it back on the backing paper. Uh, the good news is, is that this Avery wrap vinyl that we use, um, it's super forgiving. You can, as long as you don't get dirt in the, in the adhesive or cut the vinyl, you can pretty well heat it up and go back to normal exactly like it was when it started. So um, anyways, just to continue on here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is peel the backing paper about halfway down and then stick it across top here so that we can get a, a solid lay and make sure your graphic's still laying where you want it to along here and then the first thing I'm going to do is come straight across the center like this because the, the body's curving vertically like this you want to start across the center and and get that to lay flat and then I'm just going to use my knife here to be careful around the paint if you're going to use a knife like this um, but if you notice we've got this roll in the body here so the next thing you'll want to do is come from down low here in the center where we've already tacked it all the way across and then we're going to start working our way up this roll. Now if you if you try to bridge that like this and then jam the vinyl down in there, it'll it'll look good for a minute, but then tomorrow morning when you come out, it'll have bridged back up and there'll be a gap in there and then on the ends, you'll start getting dirt in it. And once the dirt starts to get in there, it will no longer stick in that area and the dirt will just go deeper and deeper and deeper until eventually it's fallen off. So uh, the way to stop that from happening, I'm just gonna hit it with a little heat because we're kind of stretched it out there. This, if you just heat it up a little bit, keep it off contact. Don't stretch it when you're heating it. Just let it, let it cool back down and it'll re return to its original shape. And you'll be able to feel the warmth of the vinyl once it gets down to, you know, atmospheric temperatures or, you know, room temperature, depending on where you are, uh, then it's safe to go back in. So I'm keeping it off contact up here and, and working it in slowly all the way across this, this bead. Working down the bead, make sure if you get on contact on the top, you peel peeling back off. contour in and out of that bead like this and you don't stretch the vinyl it, it doesn't want to tend to come back up so like that and then I'll even come in here and pull it back off the top bead and go in one more time with the sharp edge be careful if, it, if you're bridging this at all even if it's just slightly and you come in with this sharp edge it'll slice right through the vinyl if you're not careful so I'm going to trim it right there at that line like we're just going to do the entire bumper and so now what we can do is continue working straight down. Um, when I say working down I mean side to side motions working towards the bottom. Now I'm keeping just enough tension on this to keep the vinyl off of the car. I'm not pulling down and stretching it. And all you uh, true installers out there. You can berate me in the comments about uh, how I didn't clean the vehicle well enough because that's super important. But uh, this is simply a demonstration on how you can splice this stuff together if you run into a problem or you come up a little short. 
if you're doing a full wrap on a on a truck you're probably going to end up with some splices in some places so oops, save the paper just keep continuing to work down back and forth and down and then when you get to the bottom here make sure you pull up because we've got another spot where you'll want to You'll end up trying to bridge. You notice I'm flipping over, use the sharp side. Work it down into that crack, keep it off contact down here until you've worked all the way down into it. And then, we're ready to come back in and trim with our knife. And again, this is really light pressure. You don't you're going to want to uh, cut through the vinyl, but not the paint. And the tricky part is, is that you've got to make the cut right the first time. That way it's straight. And then we'll come in down here. You notice with my fingers, I'm, I'm grabbing the knife with both sides on both sides like this in my hand and then I'm running my the, the tips of my fingers actually on the vehicle so I can feel those two ribs and hold the knife perfect steady at a light cut as I'm coming down the vehicle. So just to establish where my cut is again, I'm gonna peel this off, see where I stopped. Here's my cut. continue that on out. Cutting along the edge of the design is, is another way that you can try to disguise these types of uh, splices, but nobody's ever going to know that's there unless you tell them. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you jo for joining me. Anyways, I really appreciate you joining me for this, everybody. Uh, we'll have another video out probably next week. Thanks.